Hi, I'm Maddie, and we are just going to sit here and talk about why I deleted Instagram. <laughs> one of the number one reasons why I deleted Instagram, one of the number one reasons why I deleted Instagram is because of my past. Now, everyone has their own past, and we all have our things, you know, whatever. But I feel like social media gave me the chance to keep up with my past. I mean, there's, if people don't block you, I mean, you can block anyone, but <laughs> I don't know if people, well, there's probably people out there that have actually blocked me, but there's people who haven't. And you can go and look at people's accounts. <laughs> you can look at the accounts of people you no longer speak to, you no longer need to see what they're doing, but you do it anyway. And it's so tempting and it's so unhealthy. I did that so much. You just see what's going on in people's lives, whatever they want to put out there, you know. It could be wrong. I mean, it could be true. It could be fake. But you can still look at people's posts who are no longer in your life anymore. And I think that's just so unhealthy because you're just remembering how things ended and you're just trying to keep up with people you no longer need to keep up with. I did that personally and I'm okay with saying it on here. Yes, I have. So I just felt that getting rid of it will help me just like get rid of all those things. Like just get rid of my past. Like there's no reason to be looking at that stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's that's uh that's it. So my past. There's no reason to be looking at other people's accounts that you no longer speak to anymore. It's over. <laughs> and it's not not good it's not healthy there's no closure there it makes no sense to do that but you know I did it and I knew that it wasn't going to get me anywhere and it wasn't helping me so it felt good to just know that I didn't have that temptation anymore to look at stuff because I didn't have it I just deleted it for a few months I mean I'm trying to of course get back on there for like makeup transitions and also it's another outlet to promote my YouTube channel which is really important to me so that's the only reason and I think I lost sight because I was so like focused on my past and not knowing that I was doing it like constantly looking back at things like old pictures and old account like there's no reason to do that but I think I lost sight of what Instagram can do for my YouTube channel and for my life like it can definitely be a professional that was spit <laughs> can definitely be something professional I mean I'm an adult now I'm older I should be using it as you know business opportunities like opportunities again for my youtube channel to reach people and should be about that it shouldn't always have to be about you know friends and getting followers and getting comparison is like sugar it's addictive. It's in everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right? No? Okay. Whatever. I'm taking a drink break if you don't agree with me. You don't have to, but ASMR. It's peach tea raspberry. Non-promoting. Comparison of like I guess it's looking like people were having things and doing things that I've always wanted. Like I've always wanted my own car. It seemed like everyone had three cars. <laughs> I don't know. Stuff like that. Or people like going on trips or certain relationships. Like you can see like all these girls or like guys and girls going out like, oh, we're all friends. We're all happy. We're all hanging out. Oh my gosh. And comparing that to I'm, oh, that touched my mic. I'm so sorry. Or comparing myself to that, like, I'm in my 20s and I'm losing friends left and right every year. It feels like I can't make friends and I'm losing friends. But then I see people on Instagram hanging out and having fun. Look at that. <laughs> comparing and definitely comparing people that are, like, the same height and size as me having these beautiful, perfect workout bodies. Like, how do you do that? And them having like like no cheat days and eating right and killing it. Or just people in faith. Like they seem like 
they know their they know their Bible and they're reading it and they're doing all these things and they're like so perfect and so high up here and like what am I doing with my life you know and all these successful people and their stories and their reels and their posts and it just wasn't good comparing myself because then I lost sight of my own creativity and why I started my YouTube channel and why I liked Instagram because with any app there's good and there's bad can we get there that's a good comparison there's good and bad in Instagram so just that just comparing myself to where I thought I should be at my age and also like other people it seemed like everyone was just more happy and had all these people in their life and that's not always true we know that if you haven't found out yet you will you will you will you'll find out that not everybody's happy with all these things and all these people and all those sorts of things and just felt like I was missing out on things that don't even make me happy like I'm not a person who likes I guess going out and partying and all that stuff but it just seemed like all those people were like so close and I was in this season of losing friends and trying to understand like what I was doing wrong in my friendships once they ended and how I can be better in the next ones and how I didn't want any new friendships because I thought I would screw those up too so that's weird wanting things but knowing that you need to wait so Instagram makes you feel like you have to rush and I think that also comes with comparison because once you're comparing yourself to others at that time I wasn't ready to drive comparing myself to people getting their dream cars Next. when I wasn't even out of my fear of driving. That's one main comparison. The second one, comparing myself to people being in groups, having guy friends and girlfriends. And I was in a season where I was losing friends for a good purpose and learning about what type of friend I wanted to be for other people in the future and what type of friend I needed to be in myself. That was a comparison. Number three, definitely to like followers, likes, and how people were like having these amazing Instagrams, amazing YouTube channels, amazing TikToks, and everything just looked like they were constantly comments. There's mean people everywhere, and I had my first viral video. I should have saved it, but I didn't know I was going to be making this video. So I had my first viral video, and it was a transition video with the SZA song and it did really good and I was surprised because that's never happened to me before so after a while like within days I started getting these comments and I was just so surprised that the video did well and that I was getting comments I'm like this is my only viral video like where are these comments coming from and some of them hurt some of them confuse me and I would just get up in the morning and I would just scroll and I'll just read them, just scrolling and reading, just scrolling and reading. For what? No reason. There was no reason to do that. And some of them I actually responded to. I didn't say anything mean back. I was just like agreeing with them, even though it hurt me. I love all forms of me, but that was just, I needed a minute to take a pause. And I don't know, just those comments, they really, they did affect me. And it was the first time I've ever received them. Like, this is viral reel of me doing a makeup transition. Then I just, I let it get to me. And I was just like, nope, nope, never mind. I tried to make a few more, but I was like, mm-mm, never mind. But once I deleted it, and me and one of my best friends, we decided to delete Instagram and I didn't have it for at least three months. But then in those three months where I was going through like post-grad and you know trying to apply for jobs and watching TV shows and feeling down, like when am I ever gonna get a job? I was like, that video went viral for a reason and it was fun to do and it was out of the blue and it allows me to be creative and to learn more about makeup and experiment so I would like to do makeup transitions and I did make a whole new Instagram and it's a clean slate it's a fresh start and I'm just going to use it like I said business all right so the three things we covered in this video are 
why I deleted Instagram, my past comparison comments, my past comparison comments, and it felt so good deleting. I honestly don't know what else to say in this video, but that's why I deleted Instagram. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my new Instagram that I might delete because <laughs> life is good without it.